Good evening. I'm going to adjust that slightly. Let's see if it makes a difference. There you go, a bit brighter. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to my very late, even later than yesterday, <laughs> Facebook Live. I wanted to make sure I keep doing this every day because it's my commitment to myself and to my audience. And if you haven't seen my broadcast before, especially if you're a late night viewer, or if you watch it tomorrow on Sunday, um, or that'll be today when you watch it. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and this talk actually is a continuation of last night. Um, if you watched last night's broadcast, I talked about some stuff with harassment. But before I get to that, um, these talks that I'm talking tonight about is, a, is an ongoing series of talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 324, so I've done a few of these. And tonight is a continuation, a deeper cut perhaps. Um, so first let me refer to last night's topic, which was, um, and I, I did playfully say, you know, Saturday Night FB Live, because, you know, the show is on in about 10 minutes. Um, West Coast time. So in this context, and again, if you haven't seen my broadcast, if you've seen my broadcast a lot, you know this is not my normal um, scenery and also not normal time. I'm at a um, weekend event called the Conscious Business Gathering, and I'll also be tied up Monday and Tuesday, but I should be able to do them earlier than this. Crazy life. What are I going to say? Um, but yesterday I talked about harassment in two particular articles I read, and I posted the links to them below that broadcast. So if you want to watch yesterday's broadcast, number 323, there were two articles. One was about um, accused sexual harassers who were looking for their um, comeback. Like they've done their penance of being out of the line like three months. They want to come back and do their job. And part of me is like, no, no way in God's green earth is that, is, that, is that workable. Because the women they affronted, hurt, insulted, harassed, uh, injured, haven't had a chance to heal. So at least until that happens, that's not kosher. That's one thing. Second thing, what I talked about, and this is the one that I'm going to talk a bit more about, is a statistic that I read yesterday's article um, that was about women at Coachella that, sorry, the, the 91, 90 something percent, 91%, 92% of women at Coachella were being um, sexually harassed, fondled, groped by men all over the, all over the festival. And apparently from some of some friends of mine, this is a um, common experience at music festivals. Common as in, for me, as in um, base level, unpleasant, inappropriate behavior. So this, this piece triggered me because I, uh, well, it, tr it triggered me yesterday, but today I'm talking about it because I posted this video to, to YouTube, which I do with all my Facebook Lives, and somebody commented on, you, on my YouTube video about how, um, like, what do I define as groping? And I'm like, do you not understand? So I did what I, I did my own definition of it, and he thought that was like a like a dictionary definition. I was like, no, you don't understand it. It's boundaries. And this is my point. I think maybe for the talk tonight, and it's going to be a short one because again, like last night, it's late at night. I want to do some other things. I still got a lot of email to catch up on. Being in this event all weekend, I haven't had a chance to focus on that. My question, my th point about this whole thing of harassment is, it's, a lot of it is about boundaries. There are so many men out there. A lot of men, it seems who don't have understanding what boundaries with women are. They think that women are easy prey or open doors or um, convenient, whatever that is. And a lot of men don't have a clue, unfortunately, that women are a lot more valuable to them to be respected, to be honored, to be equals to. And I know for all the men this is, is uh, blasphemy I'm saying this, but I'm really very clear about this for myself, and a lot of women who know me know this, is that the way men have been treating women has to end, generally speaking. I'm talking generalities here because a lot of men, less of them, but a lot of men, have respect for women, honoring them, appreciating them, and being in service to them. That's what I'm called to do. So the men who don't, this is maybe a wake-up call to them, a reminder. This is the thing I'm, I'm going to talk about a lot, and so I'm going to talk about it again tonight just as something to get this out of my system because apparently it's still in there. There's a lot of women out there who have been, been hurt, been affronted, by sexually assaulted, literally, not just figuratively, by men who did not, did not know their own place, did not know their own, their own um, they didn't own their own power in a way that was respectful. They had to prove themselves by hurting a woman, and that is 
way out of the ballpark of respect for me. That that does not res- that that pisses me off. Simple as that. Um, so I don't want to go back to reiterate too much of what I said yesterday. Again, if you haven't seen yesterday's broadcast, I talked about it there, and I actually put the two links, the two articles links in the comments of that. Actually, in the yeah, in the comments of that video. So if you want to read the articles for yourself, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are about the articles. But what I want to say this in this second part, of it, as it were, is that there's a, um, I guess in a lot of ways it feels like there's a um, compression of the negativity that's creating more concentrated. And by having that happen, it's creating more outbursts and more upset, which is why things at the top are the way they are. No names. Just thinking about that. And what is required is an up-leveling of everybody. Um, recently I've been talking in conversations about having this thing about the divine feminine and the awakened masculine. And that's the thing where we're heading, at least that's the way I'm taking the conversation and what I'm doing. Um, I'm co-leading a workshop that started last Sunday and it's going to go every second or third Sunday of the month for five months. It's talking about the polarity of relationship and masculine and feminine um, representation in that. And I'm going to talk, talk tomorrow, probably the day after, about how we as individuals embody both. And that's one of the pieces I've not really talked about recently. It's time to put that on the table as well. But what I do want to say as a point, otherwise there's no point talking, <laughs> is for the men watching, look in your own life and see where you have not respected women. Where you have assumed stuff about them without asking. Where you've treated them without respect. Where you haven't asked them permission and where maybe you think you can, you, you've overset your mark, because you have. I can assure you, every one of us has at some point in lives overset their mark. I think it's pretty much unanimous. Ladies, don't be afraid of your upset. Don't be afraid of your voice. Don't be afraid of your anger when a man doesn't respect you. Be willing to say no, but not just say it. Own it. I'm not saying it's going to fix anything, but the more women who step in their truth and say, no, this is not appropriate, the more women are going to wake up. And it may be a slow struggle at first, but it feels like there's a stepping stone to that, which is owning up and taking your space. So ladies, I'm not putting this on you to say you should do this to fix everything, because I don't think it's your role alone. It's our role as well. But the more we all step up to respect each other, to honor each other, to own our truth, and to also own our mistakes, that's where healing can happen. But there's too many people who think that they've paid their penance by just me being off offline for a bit and suddenly they want to come back on and say I'm fine now it's like uh-uh not cool so I think that's really what I want to say is just vent that piece out and get it out on the table and, and invite your thoughts this one's really more of a provocation <laughs> to invite your comments and thoughts and, and points about this um, last night and tonight's are not my usual talks in terms of length no not in terms of length or in terms of inspiration and teaching these have been part of the venting process for me this weekend so apologize if you didn't feel educated or inspired in my talk but I want to just put this out there so thank you for watching um, I do have other talks out there this is number 324 so I've got 322 at least that were decent <laughs> There's certainly more inspirational than this this one is more again part, just getting this out of my system I guess in a way so thank you for watching thanks for um, witnessing my, <laughs> my releasing of this stuff um, and that's it um, thanks for being with me you can watch these broadcasts, or my other broadcasts, by the way, and talk my other broadcasts. You can find them on my business page on barryselby.author on Facebook, or on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. My playlist is Messages of the Masculine, or on my website, which is barryselby.com. You can find a bunch of stuff on there, and these will be showing up on my video blog page. That's a big page, so it'll load very slowly. Just be aware of that. But there's 320-plus broadcasts out there that will help you in the area of love, relationships, and romance. If you have questions, concerns about relationship, you want help in that way, go to my website, click on the Let's Chat button. That's my complimentary clarity conversation, which I give to you as my gift. And ask yourself where you can step up and own your space more. And also where you can be more humble, both at the same time. It's something you can, for you to consider. And with that, I'm going to sign off because I'm exhausted and I'm running out of things to say. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for being with me as always. Hopefully you'll watch this tomorrow because it'll be Sunday and more. You'll be able to relax and watch this. Hopefully it's got some value in it. I'm not sure I'm a little bit white to give you clear instruction tonight. With that, I'm signing off. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.